folks welcome to api testing postman part 7 series so in this video we will discuss what is environment and let's see how do we create environment also let's so in the previous video we have discussed about the variables how do we create different levels of variables like at the environment level global level and then at the uh, request level how how did we create uh, or at the collection level so we discussed about all that so at that time if you have noticed it we have created even the environment so by which we also created environment variables right so i have just renamed all these it is always good uh, practice to name each of the request i just named it randomly uh, so let's begin mm. If you notice, uh, this is what we have did last uh, in the last tutorial, right? So we created a variable. So now it says that you can, it, it is not accessible because we have not selected any particular environment because we have created at an environment level. Suppose if I select any environment, now we can see that this scope is at environment level and we can see all the details, right? And uh, we did also notice that after selecting the environment, this URL is now accessible. Correct. So what happens is if I select no environment, uh, that is where it is not accessible. In case of real projects, suppose you have different environments like staging environment, pre-prod environment and prod environment. You don't always have to come and um, you know enter the URL of different types at the moment you can create different environment variables through which you can select and then run this API so that is one major advantage of creating a environment okay or environment variables so I will show you two different ways how to create environment variables or environment by itself First is, if you see at my workspace, there is a new. Click on that. Here we have an option to create new variable or sorry, a new environment by which we also create an environment variable. Okay. So let's name it as QA environment. Okay. And then let me uh, use base URL itself as a variable name. And then we will set the uh, uh, initial value as the HTTPS request uh, response dot in whatever the URL we have to uh, if you have seen in the previous video you would have got that uh, which we are referring to okay and then click on save now if I go to any other request and I will select this particular QA environment so see now this is accessible and if I hit the uh, this API it hits it and then we will get the response back so this is one way of creating environment and environment variables. Okay. In the same way, we can create it by, if you see, if you notice this environment quick look icon, click on that. So uh, now we have QA environment selected. Let me uh, cl click back to the no environment. So now I will click this. Now we have an option to add that particular environment. So click on add here. And then let's name uh, this particular uh, environment as pre-prod. Okay. And we will set the base URL as an variable name and then initial value as the same. Click on save. Okay. And go to any other request and select this pre-prod environment and hit the run. this is successful it got created successfully so this is what the advantage of environment and these are the ways through which you can create an environment too thank you for watching bye bye